What is going on friends and welcome back to the Minecraft Hub channel. Today we are checking out the brand new Minecraft snapshot for the wild update. This is 22W12A and this snapshot adds in things like the warden and the chest boats. It also adds in a few other features which we'll talk about in a little bit. But first up, these chest boats are so cool. There's of course one for every different wood type. I think they look great and they're also going to be super useful. I can't really tell you how many times I've been out and about in my Minecraft world and just wishing that I could put a chest in a boat so that I could get things back from say, raiding buried treasure or finding shipwrecks or even the ocean temples. There's just so many different ways of using uh, these boats and there's also huge technical implications so i actually haven't done any testing with hoppers but from what i've seen on twitter uh, i believe prowl took a look at how many hoppers he could put into this thing and the answer was 16. because of the way the hitbox is set up for boats you're actually able to put a full 16 hoppers into these chests and that's actually going to be super useful for some different technical applications. Now, unfortunately, I am nowhere near smart enough to figure any of that out. That's not really my forte in Minecraft, but it is going to be very interesting to see what players like Il Mango and the hive mind of Doc M is going to come up with with these new chest boats. Now, surprisingly, these chest boats are not the coolest thing in this snapshot. We also have the Warden and also the Deep Dark. Now, the Deep Dark was actually added in in the last snapshot, but now we're actually going to go take a look at it with uh, the new Skulk Shrieker that works and spawns in the Warden. Now I've actually turned down the volume a lot here because not only is the warden very loud but also the skulk blocks around it, the shrieker, the just regular uh, skulk blocks, they're all very loud so I turned down the volume a lot and what we're seeing here is zombies in the deep dark just getting absolutely wrecked by the warden. And now what's interesting is that mobs are not actually supposed to spawn in the deep dark but right behind me where I'll show you in a little bit we actually have a zombie spawner. So it's a pretty unique situation where we're actually getting mobs in the deep dark that are just constantly spawning and the warden is quickly taken care of. Now to be honest I actually found this really entertaining to watch and I sat here and just watched the warden go ahead and one hit zombies for probably about 10 minutes just because it was so entertaining. And I think one of the most important things to note here as well is that we're also seeing the skull growth uh, happen when the warden kills the zombies. So as the warden kills the zombies, we're actually seeing Skulk spawn across the walls back there of the tough and deep slate, which I think is super cool. You can also see the zombie spawner here. And I think this is a very cool deep dark biome. Obviously, we're going to be getting uh, some ancient cities as well once the wild update officially comes out, but we haven't seen those in an actual snapshot yet. The only time we've seen those are in the experimental snapshot, which released about a month ago. Now I'm going to switch over to survival so that you guys can kind of see the darkness effect as well. So I do have night vision on right now so it does make it a little different but the darkness effect still takes hold pretty well even if you have the night vision potion on. So this is pretty cool looking I gotta say. I think this is a great idea from Mojang adding this in. Really makes the warden even more terrifying as they are trying to get players not really to fight it but to sneak around it and to get the treasure in the ancient cities. And of course, one of the brand new features or treasures that you're going to find in the ancient cities is a brand new leggings uh, enchantment, and this is Swift Sneak. This basically allows you to sneak very fast around your surroundings. I think this is a great enchantment, especially since it goes on the leggings. Leggings have only had the unbreaking and, of course, the protection enchantments, and they never had anything else, anything unique to go with them. So I think it's great that we're finally seeing a brand new leggings enchantment. They did originally place it on the boots, but then after some thought decided to actually put it on the leggings, and I think this is amazing. There's, of course, three different tiers of this enchantment, just like uh, many of the other enchantments that we've seen in the past. I'm using tier 3 right now and I'm moving just as fast as I would be walking around this area, but I'm sneaking. This is of course extremely useful with the Warden to get away from it quickly without being able to make any sounds. And right here you can also see what the darkness effect looks like without the night vision potion on. So it is extremely dark, you're not going to be able to see anything around you, which really does make this whole experience that much more terrifying. 
that is all that we have for you guys today though this is a pretty small snapshot uh, in terms of new features we really only have the warden the new enchantments and the chest boats uh, so we don't really have a whole lot to go into today but i think this is looking very cool and i am very excited for the wild update which should be coming out i'd say around summer especially with what the pace of these snapshots are right now we're seeing a lot more content and they just need to refine some things of course add in uh, the ancient cities and whatever else they're going to do in the wild update of course the deep dark and the warden they've been working on for some time now but i'm really excited to see the new mangrove swamp biomes i think they're going to be incredible and i'm really excited to see what they decide to do in terms of uh, biomes that we already have so in the minecraft live event we actually saw a lot of footage or uh art of what the birch forest and other things could be so i'm really excited to see what they decide to do in terms of biomes we already have but i'm also very excited for the new biomes that are going to be coming out this year that is all that we have for you guys today though thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on it and if you're new to our channel hit that subscribe button as well we do a ton of different minecraft content including of course these snapshot videos uh, we do modded minecraft we do the best mega bases in minecraft and so much more so go ahead hit that subscribe button check out the rest of our content and i'll see you guys next time